Hello and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with Cientier. I am Cientier. You can support me at patreon.com slash Cientier. It is Halloween festivities in Guild Wars 1. And uh, last time we were speaking with the Mad King Steward. And uh, we spent a, bu a bit of time, a bunch of time, something, something like that. Excuse me as I adjust my legs. Uh, venturing in the underworld and talking to a bunch of people there, including King Frozenwind and the Reapers uh, that reside there. So we re received news that Doom, uh, the previous god of death, who is quite rude, uh, is attempting to rise again. And this is bad news, particularly for Mad King Thorn. So Mad King Steward says, Greetings. I'm glad you've returned. I have... Curious news from the Mad Realm. His dreadful majesty, who is usually ready to believe just about anything, remains obstinate about the possibility of Doom's reemergence. The Reapers have sent word that Doom's elite skeletal soldiers have been appearing throughout the underworld in greater and greater numbers. If we could present Mad King Thorn with the remains of one of these minions, he would most likely see the danger on the horizon. Unfortunately, killing them only adds to Doom's growing power. If you were instead to weaken one of Doom's minions without killing it, you should be able to imprison it within an everlasting mob stopper. Return to me quickly with a trapped enemy, and I will place it before my lord. Uh, okay, what could possibly go wrong? I'll do it. So, um, yay. Uh, so I have the everlasting mob stopper. Double click to, double -click to attempt to capture skele target skeleton of Doom. I have very full inventory. Okay, so let's go make our way towards the Chantry of Secrets. However, we can adjust things a little bit um, and grab our friendly neighborhood party. Um, you're the last one that I bring with me. Let's see. We can use is not really the business that I'm wanting. It's okay. Switch back to Icy Veins. You know, I just prepared for potential solo endeavors. Which are not going to be the case uh, with those skills. So, do I need to do the emissary thing? Enter the underworld, use the everlasting mobs up shop. Spirit of a weakened skeleton of doom. Let's see. Can I just kneel here and have quest stuff happen? Is there, like, special Halloween fun times? People seek the... Oh, okay. Yes, the Servants of Grunt. Um, yeah. Because I have my own business. Gwen? Has anyone seen my daughter, Gwen? Gwen? Uh, we get to see this dialogue. Yay! Mommy... Mother, is that you? Gwen, oh, my, look how you've grown. How many years have passed me by in this place? I feared I would never see you again, that you were lost to me forever. Mother, I, I don't know what to say. I've wanted to see you for so long. I searched everywhere after the searing. I tried to find you. Others survived, so I thought, I hoped, that somehow... I know I wasn't there for you. I'm so sorry about that. But look at you now. You've become a beautiful young woman. Oh, the years I missed. There's so much to say. A lifetime of regrets I can never turn into words. You don't need to regret the words we haven't spoken. Only those we have yet to say. To think that my little carefree daughter, whose head was once so filled with adventures, could say such a thing. I'm not that little girl anymore, mother. Those days are lost behind a wall of fire. Your life wasn't easy, was it? I can't even imagine. You were so young, Gwen. Too young to grow up alone in that hellish world. Is it better now? I pray every day that your suffering has ended, that the world has become sane again. The Char are... They still threaten our homes, our people. We fight them, even now, so that others will never know the pain we carry in our hearts. We? We? Yes, we, I and my friends, and many other brave warriors. We do what we can, what must be done, the char. They took you away from me. They took so much from us all. I can never forgive that, never. 
Oh, Gwen, I know you were hurt, but you can't let wounds from your past guide the decisions you make in the present. I can't forget what I lost, Mother. I won't forget you. I'm not asking you to forget. Some things we carry within our hearts, always. We all have scars and memories, tears of loss and laughter from mirths long gone. They're a part of us, but they are not all that we are. We are something greater than the sum of our parts. We can learn and grow. Let your experiences, both good and bad, teach you, guide you, but never let them control you. Mother, I... This is not a fight I can abandon. Not after all we've lost. I must see this through. I must. No matter how hard you fight, you can never bring those things back, Gwen. They belong to the past now. Your life, you. You belong to the present, no. To the future. Let me tell you something I learned only after my death. We view this world through eyes cast forward, so we can see the future stretching out in front of us, beckoning us onward through our lives. So, if you must fight, fight for the life you want to lead, for the future you want to live in. If you fight to fix the regrets of the past, you will lose. The past cannot be beaten. As you said, we shouldn't regret the words we never got a chance to say, or the life we never got to lead. Live your life, my little girl. That is all a mother wants, all I ever wanted. I, I don't know what to say. I love you. As I love you, your eyes speak the words you cannot say. I know there is something you must do, Gwen. I always knew you would achieve great things. Now I see you before me. I see the kind of person you have become. Strong but willful, caring and empathetic, but so driven. I will worry about you. That is a mother's right, but I won't stop you. Go, do what you must. Just be careful. I will be here, waiting for you to return. When this is all over, I will return, I promise. And if the gods are just, I shall bring good tidings. But please, don't wait for me, mother. You must move on as well, and you will always be in my heart. Always. That is something I can take with me as I look forward to that future, that bright horizon yet to dawn. I love you, mommy. There we go. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so we need to find... Ah, oh, there's some skeletons of doom up there. Okay. Very important to weaken these guys. They hit like trucks. But weakness makes them a little less painful. By dramatically decreasing the amount of damage they deal. Okay, I don't need to do much here. I just need to go fight a Skeleton of Doom. Um... Don't ask me how I can have Ebon Vanguard Sniper support down here, by the way. I might be dropping this Demonic Remains, especially if I get a... Uh... Well, that didn't seem to go off very well. My inventory is full. Uh, well, apparently I need to leave. Inventory space. There's another skeleton up there, so let's try that one. Certainly die quickly, though, which was part of the issue. Oh, wait, I have a captured skeleton. Okay. Let's go pick up these demonic remains. And I don't need to do anything else down here, so... Um... Cool. Uh... Okay, I have a captured skeleton for you. That was pretty straightforward. Since it was free to get in there, it's not a huge deal uh, to just pop back out. Um, okay, Mad King Steward. 
You do come through in a pinch now to convince Mad King Thorn and determine how Doom's slumber may be extended in indefinitely. My thanks, mortal. Um, every bit helps in the waiting game. The Mad King, whom I serve most obediently, appears more concerned about dripping pie filling on his invisible pony than the possible return of Doom. Though I am unworthy to speculate about the thickness of his head, I can see in his empty eyes that he doesn't consider one skeleton evidence of an uprising. Would you mind capturing a few more of Doom's minions? Naturally, I will reward you for every batch of evidence you bring. Okay, so this looks like it's probably some... I don't know. Um, Based with... Okay, so this is probably supposed to be follow-up to this one. Uh, but I need to empty my inventory. Of course. Oh my goodness. So full of stuff. Uh, do I have a spare spot to put? Um, not really. I have a lot of armors of salvation is what I've got. Okay, I need... Oh, boy. I probably need to clear out a bunch of random junk, but... Have this demonic remains, please. Okay. You know what time it is. It's time to open a depressingly large quantity of trick-or-treat bags. Let's do it as a Rift Warden. Enjoy my floating gaze. Inventory is full because I got a witch's brew. Every time I get a witch's brew, it's going to cause that problem. So anyway, uh, I wish I had something insightful to say while I was doing this, but it's interesting playing through these. I think I've probably done them in the past, but it's been a very long time. I certainly give you an awful lot of trick-or-treat bags by doing it. That's for sure. I want to keep my passage scroll to the underworld. I'm not sure when I'm going to use it, but... The good news is, once... All of these are gone. I can go through this full stack, uh, which will um, be a bit easier because all of the witch's tonics won't take won't take up my very last inventory space. So that will be a little bit, a little bit better. Boy, there are certainly a lot of trick-or-treat bags that you get through these quests. All I'm saying. All I am saying. That means a lot of clicking and to clear them out. Almost there. Oh, which is brew. There we go. Now I can take this and swap them. And click a lot more on an additional giant pile of trick-or-treat bags. But I need the inventory space, so here we are. Here we are. Um, this is definitely going to help my character who's trying to get, you know, party animals and sweet tooths and stuff, but, um, yeah, going to take a while to process all of these. I'm looking forward to Winter's Day stuff in this game, actually. I think there might actually be some Winter's Day hats that I am missing, which will be nice to collect. 
I think they might do Winter's Day stuff in Kantha as well. I don't remember. Kantha is weird. It has its own holidays, like Day of the Tengu and um, the sort of Chinese New Year equivalent, Kantha New Year type thing. So. It makes sense that they do things a little bit differently, and I kind of like that they have that sort of real-world analog of things working differently. But... You know there's actually about emote, right? Okay, I'm getting real tired of clicking. Real tired of clicking. I have so many of these. And... That's after I gave 50 away. Okay. Great. Now that I have cleared that up, I need to go... Where's this quest? Oh, right. I couldn't accept it because I had a full inventory. Right. That's how that worked. You Every bit helps. Um, okay. Now that I have three everlasting mob stoppers, I can go attempt to capture some skeletons of doom. Over this way, where they are. Uh, we won't be listening to the lengthy dialogue that one has in, but I thought it was cool to show it off. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, Statue of Grenth. I'm glad we can do this without needing to have favor. That makes this way more tolerable. Special Halloween thing, I think. You can use the Passion Scrolls like the one that I got without favor as well, which is what is appealing about them. Uh, and they're just making this free for the quest as well. Oh, new dialogue. When you've come back to see me, and so soon. Time is difficult to gauge here, but you don't look a day older than the last time I saw you. You're still well and safe? Are you eating enough? Mother, please, I'm fine. I'm a woman now, not a little girl. I can take care of myself. This world may be far from perfect, but it'll take a lot more than what I've been through to stop me. I would say there are some things about you that'll, that you'll never outgrow, and no matter what happens, a mother will always worry about her little girl. Okay, I guess I can't ask you to stop worrying about me, but really, I'm doing well. I just wanted to, to come see you again. I, I miss you. And I, you, my little darling, come visit me anytime. I cherish these moments. Okay. That's nice. We've got some blade actually to not die to. Ow. You can see the threat that they pose. And why I want to keep them weakened, because it drops their damage from several hundred to mm, reasonable. Okay, now I have a captured skeleton. Um, and I need to go... There's another skeleton of doom over there. There, weaken those guys. Keep them weakened. Hmm. You are a threat. Ooh, good. Grasping darknesses are not nearly as big of an issue. I don't... I'm not going to... Try picking up demonic remains here. Not right now. The only thing that I'm really interested in drop wise is ectoplasm. Because ectoplasm is useful and valuable. Okay. Um, okay, there's a couple of skeletons of doom this way. So they're way around the corner. Okay, let's go. Let's go up here where there's a skeleton.
Bone spike? I don't even know what these things do. Uh, four piles of glittering dust? I don't need four piles of glittering dust. Yeah, let's just get rid of those. Um... Okay, there's a skeleton of doom over... Th okay, there's a bunch of skeletons of doom over there. Um... Okay, and here's a skeleton of doom. Okay. Uh... Yeah, those guys are like so fragile they're not meant to be a threat to any legitimate party they're just meant to stop 55 monks from being able to like farm in here it requires a bunch of enchantments to stay around and all that sort of business so there we go now i have captured my uh my dudes um every little bit helps I'm trying to decide if I should try to get a little bit further in this place and um, fight some smite crawlers or something. But I'm not even sure I can get to where I need to go for that. So let's just go back to Commandant Jewel of Istan and turn in my uh, my pile of things to. Mad King Steward. Captured Skeleton. Okay, well done. On behalf of my liege, I thank you. The more crystallized skeletons I show him, the brighter his candle burns. For this reason, my offer remains open. Capture more minions and claim more rewards. Uh, faced with overwhelming evidence, the Mad King has conceded his sense of impending doom was due to, well, you get the picture. But I fear this realization is all for naught. The Mad King Thorn has the ability to appear in this world each autumn. His power over the mortal realm is limited. He informs me his strength within the underworld is weaker still. As a Mad King steward, I cannot do much more than sweep up his crumbs and groom his invisible pony, so it seems we can offer no further assistance. You and the others of your realm must face the return of doom. If you wish to hold back the coming night, seek out the voice of Grunt and offer your assistance. Uh, wow. This, uh, it'll be done. I'll speak with the voice of Grenth. Yes, because the rewards you are offering me are ludicrous. Positively ludicrous. I mean, this might go poorly, but I certainly want to give it a try. Um, Transmogrifier tonics are the best. I like them. Okay. Uh,. Back to the Chantry of Secrets we go. And this is going to... I don't know. We'll see how long this episode ends up being. I My intention is to basically try to complete this quest chain. Maybe check out the one other thing that's been floating around that they've been telling me about. What am I missing, Zenmai? Uh, and then... um, Like... Let's see... I don't know what this is going to be like. Okay. Um, like, I'm not prepared to do the full underworld. But uh, it's just going to be the same repeat dialogue between Gwen and Sarah. So... Um... I need to talk to... I don't need your quest. Uh, I need the waiting game. Speaker of the Labyrinth can update the state of imprisonment. Uh, I believe the Labyrinth is kind of up this way.
I will totally take gold every time it wants to give it to me. Reaper of the Labyrinth is up there. Okay, now let's supply some weakness. Grasping darknesses are kind of weird in some regards, you know? You need to be friggin' weakened. These guys hit like friggin' trucks if they're not weakened. Why it's worth it to me to keep them weakened. Like, they're hitting for 60 damage with weakness on them. That's just ridiculous. It just means they hit way too friggin' hard. I'll bring out my miniature Axie. It will help. Somehow. Cool, we survived that probably slight over aggro. And I can't say that we were entirely properly equipped to deal with it. Big hit? Nope. I mean, by contrast, these skeletons are not particularly threatening. But yeah, I want to do the quest that gives me like five plat. Okay, how do I get in here? Uh, okay, let's start by clearing out the rest of the bladed axe. Ooh, good meaty hit. Eb and Vanguard have some really good sniper support. What I'm saying. Okay. Once this guy's down, it will be time to go talk to the lost soul i think because right now we can't really proceed and that's because we need to do some of the underworld quests um it's odd i thought after you died you were sent okay get out of here grasping darkness it's odd i thought after you died you were sent to the hall of judgment so that grunt could choose your eternal fate at first i was relieved to find myself here instead but i don't want to be stuck here for eternity either I'd like to explore around a bit, but the other side of the chamber is full of those terrible, grasping darkness creatures, servants of the terror web demons, if I remember my lore right. One of us tried to go past them, and they struck him down and swallowed his soul. Please help us. Clear this chamber of those phantoms and their terror web masters. Um. Okay. I mean, those guys go down easily enough. And there. Um, okay, one group remains. Well, oh, oh, what? Okay, I see dudes over there. Also looks bored, so I don't blame him. A lot of interrupts, which is very annoying. These things are not as bulky as I would have expected. 
It's kind of nice. I mean, I guess. Destroy the terror webs around the statue of Grunth. Okay, so this is how we free the Reaper. Because we need to go in here and we need to clear out the terror webs and stuff. That makes sense. Oh goodness, that is an awful lot of dudes. There, that weakness will hopefully help with some of the DPS they're inflicting. And Zenmai is not built to be especially bulky, which is probably not helping right now. Ah, oh, trick-or-treat bags, eh? Well... Guess I might as well pop that. Oh, some more Grasping Darknesses, because of course there are. Now, well, at least these things are fragile compared to the Axes. They're, like, not even a threat. Slight irritant, but not really a threat. More demonic remains from my pile, which is growing. Just trying to get everybody out from underneath the meteor showers, please. Okay. Let's stabilize for a moment. Hello, Reaper of the Labyrinth. This area seems safer now. I hope that we will soon be granted hope that we will be granted an audience with Grunt soon. May the Lord of Death treat you with mercy while you are in his realm. Yay! Okay. Uh the waiting game. Once again we meet, mortal. These are dark times. Minions of Doom rampage unchecked, and their ranks swell with every passing day. If they are not defeated, Doom's servants will overwhelm the underworld. Herein lies the dilemma. The minions must be stopped, but each small victory over Doom's forces hastens the Ender of All's arrival. We Reapers need your help to battle the legions of Doom, but know that if you do our bidding and complete all the tasks laid before you, Doom will surely break free into the underworld. It is a heavy responsibility we have laid upon your capable shoulders. Oh... Oh. Is does the waiting game literally require us completing all quests in the underworld will release doom? Oh. No well no wonder it gives us five plat and a stack of trick or treat bags. Um This would require us to do all of the quests here. I don't think I'm prepared to do this, guys. My apologies. But um I'm not doing this because I know that this is uh, quite the task and I'm not prepared to clear the entire underworld with heroes. I don't even know what I'm doing well enough to, to be ready for that. So, um, But, you know, that's kind of the start of it, I guess. So is that. Uh, I do. So next episode, I'm going to do some costume brawl, or at least that's my plan. If there's other people doing the costume brawl that I can do it with sort of thing, because it is a PvP business. But... Um, I want to go see what this harbinger of King Thorn is all about. Um, so what is this? Uh, hello, Colonel Colonel. And just where do you think you're going? 
Is life in the core just too hard for your dainty little mortal body? Sure, I'll let you back into the mortal realm, but only because I think I saw Kitten and Lion's Archer can teach you a thing or two about not being a total pansy. Dismissed. Leave in a moment of triumph? Hardly. I just want some of your expert advice. If Hollow Joko uses the same terror tactics he's been using uh, for centuries, which he will, he will have a number of generals on the field, calling in the bulk of his forces. Once the general goes down, forces will no longer arrive from that point. So kill the generals. Got it. Anything else? Each of the generals will be guarded by a priest of Joko. As long as the priest is alive, the general's guards will resurrect after a short time. So make sure to take out those priests, too. Okay. Gotcha. Right, so kill the priest of Joko, too. Anything else? Joko is a sore loser, so the more generals you kill, the more forces he will send to his other generals. If we start embarrassing him enough, which I know we will, you may even show his ugly hide on the battlefield. Now, enough talking, and let's get this battle started. Go, go, go! Okay, so this is a challenge mission. Uh, that makes sense. Um. Okay, so I don't know if it truly matters who I bring with me. But, you know, just in case it does. Okay, so I think we're going to have a bunch of special skills for our uh, lovely challenge here. So I'm going to do this uh, once, and then and then we'll call this an episode. So let's see what I have, though, so I know what, what I've got. So I have a signet. Launch a delicious projectile at target foe. If it hits, foe takes 50 damage, and you gain one strike of adrenaline. This spell ignores armor. Okay. Uh, oh, if it hits, I take 50 damage, and you gain a strike of adrenaline. Okay. So then we have the rocket-propelled gobstopper, which costs four adrenaline. Spell. Launch an explosively tasty high-speed gobstopper at target foe's location. Only nearby foes are struck for 100 damage and knocked down. It ignores armor. Beast of Vengeance. Some of these are like palette swaps of existing skills, but anyway. Um, spell. Steal 150 health from target foe. That seems pretty solid. Reign of Terror. Spell. Create a Reign of Terror at target foe's location. For five seconds, foes in the area are struck for 30 damage. Cry of Madness. Uh, elite Shout. Scream like a madman. Foes in the area lose 10 energy and all adrenaline. For 10 seconds, allies with an earshot move 25% faster and have plus 5 health regeneration and plus 1 energy regeneration. Well, that seems good. Uh, sugar Infusion. Spell. Sacrifice 25% of your current health. Target other... Of your current health. Not your maximum health. That's interesting. Target other allies healed for 150% of the amount you lost. If this spell targets Mad King Thorn, the spell heals... For 200% the amount you lost. Uh, animate Candy Golem. Spell. Exploit a nearby corpse to animate a level 20 Candy Golem. You may only have one Candy Golem at a time. And a Res Sig, which is just a Res Sig. Okay. Uh, I don't know how well the AI... Oh, the AI has their normal skills? Is that how this works? Nope. Nope. Not in thing. There's Mad King Thorn. What's this? New recruits? Welcome to my mad little corner of the underworld. You're really lucky, you know. People are always dying to get in here. Ha 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 ha! Joko's forces will be materializing any moment now. I can already smell the stench of failure on the breeze. Oh, and one more thing. It's not enough to just beat him. We have to humiliate him. The faster you defeat him, the more pleased I'll be. Plus... It's bath night for Mr. Gumdrops, and King Thorn is never late to bath night. Did you think I would forget your transgressions, Thorn? This time I have come for you! Says Paula with Joko. Oh, give it a rest, Joko. Everyone knows your bark is worse than your bite. Bah! I can smell your pumpkin breath from here. Enough talk. We will settle this in battle. Okay, so is this like a tower defense type deal? -y? Okay, so they have kind of like normal skills and um, yeah. We need to uh, take out stuff? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let's see, so that was a knockdown. 
this is a gigantic buff. This is a heal, and this. Oh, you're right. This animates a candy corn, a candy golem. Uh, the candy golems are cute too. Okay, so I think we need to go off in each direction and take out the generals that are there. Is my memory of how this works? Okay. Let's do this and try to clear things out, but we need to keep an eye on stuff back home, as it were. We need to make sure... Um. A time like this calls for a joke. Why did Apollo Joker cross over into the underworld? To lose! Ha 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 ha! That's Mad King Thorn for you. Um. It's not over yet. I will tear you limb from limb. I will... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the sound of my army's death scream... Of your army's death screams. Ha 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 Okay, I want to go uh, help clear out some of this stuff. More cowbell! It pleases the cheetah. Okay. Uh, and then, well, that is completely worthless, so let's not look at it. This is a really good shout, incidentally. I need my animate candy golem. I need my candy golem. Man, I wish I could just, like, normally be able to animate candy corn minions. That's... Like, the best ability. Oh, yeah. We're loading this down with damage. Another one bites the dust. Again. So many Reign of Terrors. Dry's Healing Circle, really? Such a ridiculous... Ridiculously powerful shout. I need another in Candy Golem. Okay, but Mad King Thorn's getting a little whomped, so... You need to go protect the Mad King. Remember, the more we clear from one side, the more uh, the other sides get filled. No, the Mad King! Oh, wow, there's a lot of dudes here. Okay, well, we obviously need to clear stuff out, because it's a mess. Oh, oh, right, I can't use, just use attack skills, obviously. Okay, that cleared out the batch of dudes that was around. Let's 
So let's clear out the next batch coming this way as we come in here and clear out the generals. Cool. Oh wow, a bunch just went down simultaneously. That's cool. Bunch of gold coins. Okay, Priest of Joko is down. Crazy damage going on. Club Soda removes all the bloodstains? What? What a very splendid hat you have there, Palawa. It must do an excellent job of keeping the vultures from landing on your head. Ha 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 ha! I bet. Oh man, so many dudes getting chewed up. Wow, there's so many gold drops in here. Like, just raw gold. Oh, yeah. Army of little angry minions. You pathetic pile of flesh and bones! You can't even hold yourself together! Ha! Your soldiers are as hopeless as your insults. Ready to surrender? Never! Oh, he says he's gonna wipe that smile off his pumpkin thorn. That's uh that's great. I'm sure that'll go splendidly. Ow, 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 ow. I already have a minion, but why not? Let's make a new one. Minion panel! I have a candy golem. Oh man, they use a lot of hexes, is what I'm seeing. Okay, let's get you back up, Zondra. Let's keep me from dying by not walking into hordes of enemies. That would be good. Wonder why this is a signet and this is a spell. That's one of those like arbitrary I don't understand this decision type things, you know? Oh well. Okay. Food is just another government conspiracy, like sleeping or air. Don't be a slave. Why well, don't. What does that even supposed to mean? Ow. 
There we go. I need to drop the stuff on them. You, you need to be dropped. Enough of this. I shall settle this battle myself. Oh, if... Ah, Palawa Joko. The scourge of anyone with a nose joins the battle. I want to personally watch your defeat. I want to clear out the last of the army that's gathered over here. Let's get ourselves a candy golem! How long does this last anyway? 10 seconds? That's It's real good though. Man, this just like accumulates damage like crazy. It's amazing. Oh, there's Palawa Joko himself. Scourge of Candy. Curse you, Thorn! I'm going to! Yes, yes, flood valleys and slave nations. I've heard it all before. I'd like to see you try. Hey, look, it's a chart cut out. You'll see. You'll rue the day. Go on, start ruing. This is not the end of Palawa Joko. Da 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 da. We were victorious. We're Mad King Thorn. I forgot his voice for a little bit, but that's okay. Yay! Dance! Ooh, we've got some air guitars and other crazy stuff going on. Oh, okay. We get our, our loot that was unclaimed. That's nice. I don't know what other rewards we get from that. Um... 14 gamer points, and 660 gold, and 29 trick-or-treat bags. Cool. Um, gamer points are for a title. I was wondering. Okay, well, I think that's going to conclude this episode. So, um, until next time, everyone, take care. Goodbye.